Hello, my name is George Bortnick, and I want to do a review on a Vargo Dec Decagon stove that I just bought. Now, for two years, I didn't buy this stove because I was given the information, this is a piece of crap. Well, I've got to tell you, I found out a little bit different, and I want to share. And I'm asking for you all to, you know, chime in and let me know if I'm seeing this right, because... Uh, I've seen all the negative reports and what I came out with is something else. Now, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to I'm going to fire this thing up and on uh, for the high power and then I've got a way I can I've, I've made a few modifications to this stove and I've also want to uh, show you how I can bake bread with a simmer simmer rate. So uh, okay, let's start off here. The stove I'm, the uh, cook kit I'm using, I'm using the uh, Coleman, it's, it's a Coleman Max, and uh, this thing sells for about 25 bucks, it comes with two cans, or two pots, just like this, now I've just got the one pot here, so, and here's the Decagon. And you see I did, I've done a little modification to it. But there's another pot that will fit right inside this, which is just slightly smaller. Now, that's a nice little outfit. Got nice handles, and I've made another modification that I can... The, the, the lid stays up like that. So when it's, it's on the top, it's got a real good seal, and it doesn't interrupt with anything else. But now, one of the things they said with, the, with this... Uh, Decagon, it, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, this thing had a lot of trouble starting. It would take one to two minutes for it to bloom. Well, uh, what I did was I took some, some carbon fiber and I made a long strip and I just sort of weaved it through there. Now, they said also that I need to have a, a, uh, uh, windscreen. Well, this is the kind of windscreen everybody talks about. Well, I went a little bit different. I got a, I got one of these uh, steamer, steamer things. I cut the legs of it off, and I cut the, cut the center post onto that. Doggone, if that doesn't fit in there just perfect, it can still breathe, but it's a good windscreen. Now, from everything I've seen, from all the negative reports, is it's all in how the people fill this thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to how to get the high power where you get a five to six minute boil off this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up so you can see exactly how I'm filling this. Now, this is the alcohol. And you see it's got a pretty big opening. Now you see Oh, now you can see it's it's full. Well, it seeps back in there a little bit. Well, let's put a little bit more in. Okay, now we can see that that thing is full. Now, and what you don't burn, you just blow the thing out, and you can uh, you can pour it right back in your bottle. So there's nothing lost. And what I do is this this carbon fiber. Well, I just I just uh, put some put some alcohol on that, and I will fire this up. Now let me get this thing the camera set up again. And I'm hoping you can see this thing just right. Okay, I'm gonna fire this thing up. Boy, she's getting heat there, I mean, like right now. Oh, look at that, it's already blooming. It's already blooming. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some water in here. I'm going to put this right on the top. Now I just got 
I was talking with the company, the Bargo company, and they said once you put the cup on, it'll throttle back just a little bit. But it'll still stay on strong. Now look, see that wind's coming on. So now we got to... Okay, we've got to have the, the wind guard on there. Well, now we got the wind guard on there. And that thing should have a boil on it in just a matter of uh, five to six minutes. That's what I've been getting consistently. And it, it's, it's a really good flame. And it's, you saw how quick, I don't, I don't even think it was even 30 seconds before it bloomed out. But it's, uh, and this windscreen does a nice job. This is the right size pot. And uh, I'm really thoroughly impressed with it. Now, just while I have a few seconds, years ago I, uh, I was given a gift, uh, it was called a bake packer. And what, they, what these people did, they, they had this little grill that you put in the bottom of your pot and you put a little bit of water in the bottom of it and you could put like bread or dough in there fold it over or you can put eggs make an omelet but you'd have a grill at the bottom of it now I made a grill just out of some old coiled strapping I put that in the bottom of the pot and I put just a little bit of water in there and when this thing simmer and this thing will simmer for about 20 minutes this thing will simmer for about 20 minutes and I get the most beautiful bread out of this thing it's pathetic well you can see this thing now it's you see what a nice flame it's got. It's great. And we've got a lot of we've got a lot of wind up here tonight too. By the way, I live in right around Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're in the mountains. So we're probably about um, 2,500, 3,000 feet above sea level. But uh, I've got the Trangia, and I've also got the uh, Brass Light. I've got a few other stoves, and I'll tell you what, I am really impressed with this thing. I wouldn't buy this thing for two years because of all the negative reports. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down because I don't want this to be, thing to be so long. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow this out. I know how it's going to come out in five to six minutes. And let's see, already, yeah, we've got bubbles in the bottom of there, so it's... It's getting strong. I've got over two cups of water in there, so it's doing good, and, uh, and the flame is still good, and we're good air. We've got wind coming in. Things are doing a great job. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing on the inside where I can shut the lights off. Now, you're not supposed to run this thing on the inside, but I'm going to do it on the inside, and I'm going to make some bread for you, and you'll see just how... You can see how you see how big a flame it's got in there right now. You'll be surprised when you see this thing on simmer. Okay, that's it for now. I'm gonna I'll come back to you and we'll go from there. Here we are back inside and uh, you see I have the stove all set up here and everything and, and uh, as you can see I don't have the it's not full all the way. It could actually stand some more uh, fuel in there, but it's not filled up all the way. One thing I found out about this stove, you have to have it filled up all the way to where this level is up above here. Uh, where it's, let me see, let me point. The level's got to be right up to about here, about halfway up this, this second indentation here. So, uh, for it to go full blast, and then it'll burn like 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Now, what'll happen is, I'm going to fire this thing up. Because I've already soaked my carbon fiber. Maybe it needs a little bit more, it's dried out some. Okay now, she 
leaves are going to start to bloom here shortly. There she's blooming. But you know, it wasn't full of fuel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the top. That's going to be heating the water right now, but you're going to see something else that happens. Now this 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 fire is going to throttle down. And what I've done, I've mixed up some bread, some dough, and I've put it in a plastic bag. I put that coil down in the bottom of this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this in here. I didn't tie that off, I just folded it over. Now I'm going to put that on here. Now because we're inside, we're not going to... Do you see how much smaller the fire is now? That'll keep going and going and going for about 20 minutes. That's on a simmer mode. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here in 20 minutes. And I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to show you the bread. And I, I think I'm seeing this right. And I, I just need some feedback from y'all. Now, is this... Uh, Am I seeing this going into simmer mode or not? So I'm going to stop this right now because you can see that thing, how the fire has gone down. It's gone to a real small fire. And that thing will just keep going and going and going and going. But it's a lot slower thing. Now they said this is a one speed stove strictly for high speed boiling. Well, the only thing I could see that if the factory did something wrong, they've got a weld down at the the base of the thing where they weld these two pieces together. And uh, it's titanium. For them to do a titanium weld, it's, it's kind of hard to get that, that weld done. So, well, look, I'm going to shut this thing off. There might be cracks. There might be cracks in some of these. That could be why they're not working that great. So, you can see how low the fire is going now. In fact, you can even you can see how that's working. It's just putt putting along. Okay, I'm going to stop for now and then we'll be back. Well, here we are. I just cracked this thing open. Now, this thing looks like crap. Let's see how we came out. Bag looks terrible, doesn't it? Uh, don't let that fool you. Probably not the most best way to do this. I didn't mix this up real good, but I just, as you can see, I didn't get it mixed real good. But there's the bread I made. It really came out pretty good. But that was all because you could simmer. You could simmer with this thing, so it was, it was pretty good. Uh, okay, let me know what you think. If you think it's a good stove, bad stove, if you agree or disagree, what it, what I found, I think it's a good simmer stove as well as a good boiling stove. So, I think it has, it's a heck of a lot lighter than a Trangia, and it's very small and everything, so just let me know what you think.